So, you always told me that you had a weight issue. Can you kind of tell me where that started? Yeah, that actually started, I think, you know, I started thinking about this. Growing up, we moved something like six times before I was the age of 12. Every two years we moved. So I never really, you know, developed any childhood friends. I can't remember a childhood friend. I don't have a picture of a childhood friend. But the one constant was food. Food always made me feel good. You know, there was always food in the house. And I felt like that was my trusted friend. Unfortunately, my trusted friend turned into a weight issue at a very young age. And then fast forward to two years, well actually four years ago, um, is when I noticed that I was really starting to struggle with the weight again. And, and grandma had gotten really sick and business still wasn't doing well and I was getting depressed and it was pretty bad. And then grandma passed, you know, and then June is when I got a phone call about Purium. So, you know, I said, yeah, yeah, I'll try this, but it took me 10 days to, actually, that's funny, it took me 10 days to, to get started with the products. And when I did, boy, was I in for rude awakening. It was hard. The first few days were hard. I had a headache and, um, you know, I was tired. But then day six, I woke up like a crazy woman. More energy than I knew what to do with. I had slept the best I had slept in years and I was down six pounds, something meaningful that I knew I could continue with. Eight pounds in 10 days, 12 pounds the first month, 21 pounds the second month, and over four months took 30 pounds off. I didn't even know what organic non-GMO meant. I mean, that's pretty sad. For, you know me, I love to cook, right? Oh yeah, you know, she's a fantastic cook. cook, everyone. She cooks best. And all of her friends, all of her friends' friends. <laughs> no, I love, Amazing. absolutely love to cook. And I never read labels as far as organic or non-GMO. I actually thought it was a ploy by the farmers and mm -hmm. you know, the supermarkets to charge us more money for the same food. But that's pretty naive, but that's where my mindset was. So then, your mother doing things a little backwards, I decided, let me look into this company and let me look up what the rage is about organic, non-GMO because I never felt that good. And my eyes were open to a whole world that I knew nothing about and was so super excited to, to learn. It became a sponge. I wanted to learn everything about it. Hey, honey. What are you doing? I am, let me stop this. I'm actually catching up on some videos. I just watched one um, from uh, Dr. Dana and Rachel Hortense, two of our crowns, and now I'm watching one that Amy Benner Hamdies just did on what to do after the transformation. I need to catch up. It's been a busy week and I missed a few of these. So how has Purim affected the rest of the family? Well, I think that's the best part, and that's kind of where my passion is now, is, you know, had I known when you guys were younger what I know now, I would have fed you entirely differently, but everybody's on board, um, everybody's tried it. More so than that, it's just become a family lifestyle now. We all read labels together, we talk about GMO, we talk about the importance of eating organic, so it's made me a better cook. I mean, I can make all my recipes now. We're gonna get one? Put some organic butter in here. Everything that we're buying is organic, non-GMO as much as possible. We don't want glyphosate in anything. And that's the way it's gonna be. I am at Loyola University and studying to be a nurse and I'm in Air Force ROTC because I want to be a flight nurse. So that's kind of the goal. So how have you incorporated Purim into your ROTC training? Well we get um, we have FAs, fitness assessments, and we always get weighed, measured. My first F, you get a score out of 100. Before I've not, I haven't done Purim before that, didn't do anything. And I got a score of an 89, which is not bad for your first one. I did 18 push-ups. I ran in 12 minutes, not for that. And I did 46 sit-ups, and I was very exact, but you wanna get better so you remember your scores, I don't know. Yeah. This last one, a year later, two cleanses down, and like obviously, changing the way I eat them. I got a score of a 98, up 10 points. Um, maxed out on sit-ups, did 70, um, even though the max is 52, because my friend made me keep going, but you know, I couldn't do more than 40 on my first one. I got 42 push-ups, my first one I did 18. Actually, I got 45 push-ups on this last one. Max is 47, I'm close. I wanna get 100, I wanna be the first girl in our detachment to get 100, I'm close. I like cookies, but I'm not eating them. Healthy living. Were you videotaping because I was being a sh Don't see your pictures. Uh, I 
Father. Hello. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, honey. What are you guys doing? We're making a uh, healthy meal for our family. Andrew does the hard stuff, I do the easy stuff. What am I pouring on here, Mommy? Olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and fresh rosemary. All organic. What are the kids gonna eat? <laughs> Funny. Hey, honey. So, what I have here is uh, at work, we get pallets that we don't use, and no one wants to recycle them anymore, so I come out here and we, uh, we have a little bonfire. Just when I think I have no more uh, fuel in the tank, I uh, have enough to cut this up and bring it home. And uh, for me, like I said, I'm 62 and 9 tenths years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm feeling excellent. I'm feeling I can stand up to any young guy or anything and uh, I'm hoping one day to see some grandkids and uh, they'll be able to take them around and show them a good time instead of being old and, you know, fat and can't do stuff. And, uh, it's just kind of nice, you know, you got to start now. I'm just really glad that my wife, Andrea, got involved in it and uh, I believe in it and I think it's... Uh, it's your choice how you want to be, healthy or not healthy. I'm choosing healthy all the way. Awesome. Well, thanks for talking with me, Mom. And thanks, thanks for teaching us all to live healthier and it set better examples for our future children and ourselves, so we really appreciate it, and I love you. I love you too. I love I'm you more. I'm you. No, I love you more. I love you most. I love you most. I love you dearly. <laughs> <laughs> Sign it off. Peace out. Thank God I got that phone call.